Class A CDL drivers. We are hiring for regional positions in your area, and we are giving away the largest sign-on bonus that we've ever given, $10,000. That's right, $10,000. This might seem extreme, but offers like these are becoming more common for truck driving jobs. That's because amid a global supply chain crunch with mounting shipping delays, the U.S. trucking industry needs drivers, and it needs them now. For truck drivers, demand is high. People are desperate to, to get them because there's this big volume of stuff that needs to get moved, and trucks move about 70%, maybe a bit more, of the freight in the U.S. Current estimates from the American Trucking Associations show there is a shortage of 80,000 truck drivers on the road which is a 30% increase from 2019 and a record high for the industry. If the trend continues, that number could grow to 160,000 by 2028. The market that we're in today is requiring, and I think will continue to require for a period of time, very strategic moves relative to incentives and to ways that we are attracting and retaining drivers. Knight Swift Transportation, the largest truckload carrier in North America, is among the companies that have boosted pay to try to attract drivers. The company said its driving school graduates are on track to earn more than $60,000 a year in their first year after training, and as high as 100,000 in some markets. That's more than double the median pay for truck drivers in the US earned in 2020. And industry-wide, the average weekly earnings for long-haul truckload drivers are up more than 25% since the beginning of 2019. It's always a little bit of a challenge hiring drivers, particularly for these long distance trucking jobs where people are away from home. The conditions can be kind of grueling. One incentive some trucking companies are offering to attract new drivers, sign-on bonuses. 84% of truck driver jobs on Employment Marketplace ZipRecruiter have included some mention of bonus this year. There's always a market effect where if you need people, you start to pay more, you offer bonuses, you do onboard, you also have to get them trained up. And that can take some time if you're, if you're trying to recruit people who weren't in the industry before. One of the biggest U.S. trucking companies, Yellow Corporation, said they have hosted at least 145 recruiting events this year. And enrollment numbers at its driver academies are up 500 percent compared with pre-pandemic numbers. Knight Swift plans to more than double its number of company training locations to meet the increased demand for drivers. I think it's fair to say that there is more pressure today than we've seen in a long time, perhaps ever, even as we think through the driver dynamic. The pandemic had impact in the driver sourcing. The trucking industry's challenges have come into focus recently as a crush of imports overwhelms ports and U.S. retailers struggle to restock inventories that emptied out during the pandemic. But the driver shortage is not new. Depending on who you talk to in the trucking sector, there's been a driver shortage for something like two or three decades. It does have a lot of churn. There's a lot of turnover. It's a tough job and it can pay fairly well for blue collar work, but you put in a lot of hours. The American Trucking Associations say there is a 90 percent annual turnover rate at large truckload carriers and the average age of drivers is 47. According to the Labor Department, women account for less than 8 percent of truck drivers in the U.S., and the industry skews predominantly white. The trucking industry has been concerned for a while. They really want to get younger people in the pipeline. They want to get more women. They want to try and get other people excited about these driving jobs. But it's been a little bit of an uphill battle. From a driver sourcing perspective, we're seeing recovery in that relative to schools and training programs and those kind of things. But there's just a, there's just a gap to fill. Even with these new incentives and an uptick in driver training enrollment, there could still be a long road ahead to remedying the truck driver shortage and unclogging the supply chain gridlock. The thing to remember is that we are still in the middle of a global pandemic. So a lot of factors in the supply chain rest on what's happening in a factory overseas or how much capacity there is on a ship. But you just sort of have to take it as it comes and, and hope that the different kinks in the chain unkink themselves. <laughs>